Hey, what's up guys? My name is Corinne and I'm a boudoir photographer based in Dallas, Texas. And every once in a while, I like to give you guys like a plant haul, plant tour, something a little bit different outside of my normal boudoir videos. So if you're interested in seeing a summer 2019 plant haul, go ahead and keep watching. If not, I'm gonna do some more boudoir videos. I need to let you guys know that I finally have an Instagram account for my plants. Feel free, well I've had it for like a year now, but feel free to follow me on Urban Jungle Home. Um, that's Urban Jungle Home on Instagram. You can hit me up on there, ask questions. I post um, more frequently about my plants than I do on my boudoir channel. And if you guys think that I should separate my boudoir channel from my plants or if you're okay with both, um, let me know in the comment section below. I totally want to know you, your guys' opinions. But let's just jump right into it. I, the first plant I want to talk about is the plant whose name I do not know. All I know is this is a Calathea, and this plant is absolutely gorgeous. This and my rattlesnake Calathea are the only ones I have not managed to actually decimate and kill. Um, if you guys know what um, species or what genre or what classification, whatever the right, correct word is for the Calathea family this is, please put it in the comment section below. I would definitely like to know. Um, I really like this Calathea. I've learned that not all Calatheas are made equal. The pinstripe Calathea and the Orbifolia, I cannot keep those plants for anything. But for whatever reason, the Rattlesnake Calathea and this one have been doing pretty well. Now this one was kind of touch and go for a second because um, you can see that it's drying on the edges, but I finally, you know, put it back with um, more plants and that helped stop it. And um, I also made sure that it was getting enough water, but not too much, but not too little light. Um, this one has been a little bit of a journey, but there's a lot of like new growth coming in at the bottom. So it's telling me that I'm doing a good job. I've had this plant for about two months and I love seeing it grow. I purchased it for about, what's the price on here? Yeah, I purchased it, all it says is Calathea too. It doesn't even tell me what type of Calathea it is. You know what's funny? This plant tells you like low to medium light, frequent watering. Didn't even read this. Read your plants, guys. But yeah, um, so if you guys know what type of Calathea this is, please let me know. Um, but I love its like foliage, it's really big, and um, it lets me know when it's happy or not. The thing I love about Calatheas too is that they also call them the prayer plants. And if I didn't tell you this plant was $11. Um, so at night, the leaves close up, and during the day, they open up, and so the plant kind of moves up and down, and I absolutely love it. Um, one of my favorite plants, highly recommend. Another thing that I like about, because I purchased this plant at Lowe's, the thing I like about Lowe's is that they have this um, like rope that comes from the soil, so um, it soaks up any water on the bottom in the event that you are not watering your plant, your plant is getting thirsty, its soil and its roots are still getting wet. So this is why I tend to buy um, a lot of my plants when I'm not going the um, boutique route, the nurseries. Um, I tend to go to Lowe's more than Home Depot, and that's simply because of the setup that they have in the pots. This is a Brazil philodendron, and I have three of these plants in my house, and I'll kind of do a little montage of each one of them, but I am not a fan of pothos at all. I do not have a regular pothos. I do not have the um, pothos, but I have all the other types of pop. Well, this is not a pothos. This is a philodendron, and a lot of people get pothos and philodendrons mixed up. The main difference between a pothos and a philodendron is a pothos will have a long uh, drip coming down its leaves, so its leaves become more narrow, whereas a pothos has a more rounded end. That's how you can tell the difference between a pothos and a philodendron. So I am in love with this uh, philodendron Brazil, and it's mainly because I really love the variegation on the leaves. And the other reason I am really keen to this plant is it's a really great grower. It grows fast. Um, I never have to guess how it's feeling. Uh, this plant is very forgiving in every sense of the way. And I, it was hard for me to find this plant. I was looking for, for it everywhere. I finally found IQ 
huge one at Lowe's for $16 and then I went back and I just got these little ones that I could put around the house. But um, when I bought this plant, it was really tiny, but within the last, I don't know how long I've had it, maybe four months or so, it has grown this much. So these Philodendron Brazils are really great growers. So if you're looking for something to satisfy yourself, go ahead and get one of these. And these small pots um, were five bucks. This Sansevieria, I think it's, I don't know if it's called Moonlight. It's something with the moon, I'll put it down there. But this is a light colored Sansevieria. Um, I have been wanting this plant, plant forever. Um, I love Sansevierias. Again, they're very forgiving plants. And in fact, this plant was two little plants in that same kind of Philodendron Brazil size, a little bigger. It's like in a four inch pot. So I put two of them together um, and then I went to the 99 cent store and I picked up this pot and you know, put some dirt in it, cold as a day. Um, yeah, so I really love the color of these particular uh, Sansevierias. They're very beautiful, very bright, and I just wanted to get it. So yeah, this is my, I don't know if it's Moonlight or Moonbeam. It's Moon something, but I'm going to just call it my Moonlight Sansevieria. If that's not the name of it, so what? It's called, his name is Moonlight now. <laughs> this right, this plant right here is enormous. Look at this guy. Yes, queen. Um, this is my Monstera Anasoni. And if you guys know, I have another Anasoni that I don't know what I did with it, but he hated his life and was trying to kick the bucket, but now he's coming back. And I'm kind of proud that he looks nothing like this guy. And I won't even show you him because I'm kind of embarrassed. But yeah, I got this guy from Ruballs um, in Dallas, and this plant was, um, $30 and it was $30 this big and it's grown since then. I've only had them for about a month but I love the uh, penetration, is that what it's called, in the leaves. Another thing that I really enjoy about this plant too is if you get it um, enough light, I would say um, really bright indirect light and more so not quite high but not quite low, like medium light, this plant will flourish. Um, it's putting off new growth every day, all the time. It makes me feel satisfied, and I can't wait for it to get bigger and longer, um, because at some point, I will try to um, propagate this plant, but that won't be for probably another year, because I just want to see how big it can grow. But this is my Monstera Addisoni. Okay, since we're still talking about Monsteras, this is my other Monstera. There's like a fly in here and I can't get it out. Um, I cannot pronounce this, um, this Monstera's last name. It starts with a K. It's like K-A something or another. But I'll put it down here so you guys can know. This is, this Monstera is absolutely gorgeous. It has been on my wish list for a while. I've been searching for it everywhere and Ruballs in Dallas had it. So you'll notice a theme. Um, I get a lot of my plants from Ruballs, Mr. Sunshine, or Lowe's. That's essentially where I go all the time, but I try to frequent as many local boutiques as possible. The thing I love about this plant is this plant has grown super fast. So again, if you're looking for another plant that is going to make you feel happy because you're seeing a lot of new growth really fast, I really suggest this Monstera right here. Um, I love how long these leaves are. It doesn't look like it from here, I don't think, but these leaves are about six to seven inches long. So this plant will definitely need a lot of room. Um, it also has a moss pole in the middle of it because this plant is definitely a climber. Um, so right here, this is all, since I had this plant for the last, I got this plant the same time I got this one? Or maybe, there were a couple, they weren't too far apart, but it's been about six weeks. And in six weeks, this plant has probably grown like another three feet. So it's a very, fast growing plant. It loves to grab and grow up. So I have it um, growing on my Buddha that you guys will see. Um, I have it just swapped around it. Um, so when I purchased this plant, I purchased it for, oh, that's better on it. Check your plants, guys. Um, I purchased this plant for $25 from Ruballs in Dallas. 
The only thing I regret doing is not buying two. I really wish I had picked up two. So if I go back to RuPaul's and they have this plant again, I, I, I'm going to get another one. I know I have one, but the satisfaction of seeing how well it grows makes me feel good, which is why I really adore this plant. Let's talk about the newest it plant that there is, the ZZ Raven, you guys. Everyone and their dog has been trying to get a hold of this plant. I myself have been, and one day I was just gonna finally just buy the plant. I had seen like an Instagram ad for it. Um, an influencer who's actually based in Dallas actually got a stem of the ZZ Raven and told everyone where they to go to, you know, where they can buy it. So I go and I'm like, okay, I'm finally gonna get it. I'm gonna, you know, I'm so happy. I get it, and just one stem, like just one bowl or whatever you wanna call this plant or the, the leaves was 75 fucking dollars 75 i was like no ma'am like i want the plant but i don't want the plant that bad so maybe like two or three weeks later Ruballs was casually just showing something um on their instagram stories and i saw that they had a gang load of zz ravens that they had announced i went down there as fast as possible to go get this plant and they had like five of them locked up like in the back behind the counter and i was like why are those ravens there and the guy the lady was like because we have a woman driving all the way from oklahoma and oklahoma is about three hours from dallas um to come pick it up it is so hard to find it and they were saying that everyone has been coming to pick up the ZZs. And so finally, um, the girl who was behind the counter, she's like, if everyone's getting these plants, I'm gonna get one too. So she ended up purchasing a ZZ. The, the cool thing about this plant is it is black. Well, it's more like of a purplish black color, but when the plant grows out, when you have new growth, you'll see right here that it's kind of like the typical ZZ Raven color. But as it settles and as it reaches its um, peak for its growth height, at the tips it starts becoming brown and eventually all of the, the leaf will become um, this deep purple black color. So I'll, of course I'll show you know, a close up of it. This plant was super healthy from Revolve. I've had probably four new offshoots since I purchased it. And you guys know that ZZ Ravens are very slow growing plants, but I can tell you, for a fact that this plant has grown super fast since I've gotten it. I don't know if I just got lucky and it was just like in a growth spurt during that time period, but I will tell you one thing. So ZZ Ravens, um, so if you're new to the plant game, you don't know what you want, and you're scared you're gonna kill your plant, uh, ZZ plants are very good because it takes, it takes effort to kill these guys. Like you have to be actively go out of your way to kill these plants because they can go a long time without being watered because um, at the end, their bulbs, they that's where they hold their water at. And so that's why people tell you, you know, it's better to infrequently water your ZZ than like water it on a regular basis because too much water will definitely kill this plant. Um, but yeah, so I really love this plant. Again, I got it for $25 at Ruballs. If it comes back, I'm going to pick up another one. So I have a Hoya. I think this is the Hoya Carry. I'm not sure. I will double check myself. But I got this guy when I went to Austin um, in April at Lowe's. I picked this one up at Lowe's. Um, I do. I have another Hoya. Um, the thing about the Hoya plants is that they are extremely slow growing plants. And so the Hoya that I have that I picked up from Grow maybe like a year and a half ago has not grown that much since I've had it but that plant is super healthy so I thought you know what if I'm gonna get these Hoyas and I totally know that they're not gonna grow fast I might as well just get a Hoya that has a whole bunch of length um so I can just admire it even if it never grows past this length I will be happy so yeah this is um my Hoya I think it's the Hoya Carry very long very trailing I really love the variegation on the leaves um, there's a lot of new growth coming um, from the top and that's because the light in my, my apartment comes down so you'll see most of the new growth right here but yeah beautiful plant and I picked it up for 
this plant was $11 and they had a bigger plant that I almost got that was 16 but this one's the $11 one the 16 one was extremely huge but um, I just went with the smaller of the two okay, so we're gonna go through these last three real quick and they all look alike um, they are all pothos but they all have different variations on them and as you guys know I do not like regular pothos but these pothos are really awesome I've been trying forever to find them I finally found these guys, um, these guys, the Hoya, and then these four right here when I went to Austin um, during Easter weekend. So, uh, no, not all of them for Austin during Easter weekend. These two are. So, this one is the Manjula. I've been looking for this plant everywhere. So, I finally found it in um, Lakeway Bee Caves area. If you're in the Austin area and you're trying to know where I found it, it was at that Home Depot there. I will say that the plants in Home Depot in Austin are about a dollar more. I don't know why, but I have noticed that. And you know I know my plants if I know prices. Yeah, so this Manjula is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it was seven dollars. Um, this isn't. This plant hasn't grown a whole bunch. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is a pretty slow growing plant, but it is super healthy, very lush, and I love looking at it. I would highly suggest it. Now the three plants I'm going to show you is the Manjula, the Enjoy, and the Marble Pothos. And you'll see the difference in the variegation from each one of their uh, leaves. And maybe I will do a separate video for just those three just to kind of tell you what the difference is between them. But yeah, this is just like a quick, you know, plant haul. But yeah, this is the Manjula. I also love the curvature um, in these leaves. Um, it's beautiful. The variegation is beautiful. Just everything about this plant is beautiful. But this is the Marble Queen. I, again, the variegation in this plant is absolutely stunning. Again, I picked this one up in Lakeway um, in Austin for $7 from the Home Depot. I don't know if they still have them anymore. This plant was really hard for me to find for some reason. Um, but this one, again, is super healthy. I do give my Manjula and my Marble Queen a lot of light and a lot of like indirect light. Hey, okay guys, so I'm gonna show you. Hey buddy, what are you doing? All right, I'm gonna show you guys the very last plant and this is my Enjoy Pothos. Enjoy Pothos is um, beautiful as well. Um, it kind of looks like a mix between the Manjula and the Marble Queen. The variegation on this plant is very similar, but um, as you can see, it's a tad bit different. This is actually two plants in one. Um, I purchased the plants from Home Depot in Dallas off Skillman, and it was $4.95 for four inch pots. And so I put two of them in this uh, beautiful planter that I found. And believe it or not, I found this planter for $6 at Walmart. And I found it next to the Walmart that's like right next to the Skillman one. I think they have it. I think it was a Home and Gardens one. And I don't know if this is ceramic. I think this is a ceramic pot. But I love the faux marble detailing on it. And though I don't have anything in my house that matches marble, I really liked how like luxe this looked. But I'm going to do another video on planters in itself and where to get some of the best ones and where to get some good prices on planters. That's it. That was my plant tour for, um, I guess, summer 2019. Of course, I picked up some other plants. I lost a number of plants too, either from them dying or I ended up um, giving, I gave five trees to my mom. So next time I'm in Austin, I will kind of do like a plant tour at her house um, so you can guys can see, you know, <laughs> uh, where I kind of got my problem from. I actually got it from both of my parents. They're really into plants and like, you know, landscaping and all that fun stuff. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, let me know again if you think I should have a channel just for my plants outside of the boudoir or are you guys cool with seeing like boudoir photography on top of occasionally getting a plant video. Um, also remember to follow me on Instagram at Urban Jungle Home. Hit me up, ask me questions, it is all good. Anyways guys, peace out, I hope you all have a great day, and bye! Bye bye!